Cross something no. The cost of opportunities is always good to know. But if you know that, then you're good to go. Yeah. No dreams too big. Chase anything, got the passion to do. Only a dream till it happens to you. Finally see money now. All right, what's up, everybody? Kevin Van Boris here for another video for you today. So we've got a Trackhawk mod installation for you guys. So let's get in the garage and show you what we're gonna be doing today. <clears throat> All right, so these are plastic fender liners, uh, fender flares, I guess you could call them. They come on the Australian Jeep Grand Cherokees. I don't know if they're on all of them or just the SRTs or whatever, but basically it's just a rock guard. And I've been trying to figure out how these set in, and I think I actually finally figured it out. So there's four of these. I got these for $125 from the Jeep guy off Instagram. Um, you might be able to find them on eBay or something like that, but these were 125 bucks shipped. Supposedly these are an OEM part. So I don't know, but anyways, I'm gonna show you guys how to install them, what it looks like before and after. Okay, so I had to look these up a little bit because I'm not 100% sure, but supposedly these just clip in and this is what it looks like. So I'm assuming, let's see. So give me one sec. I'm gonna try and figure out how this how this exactly goes because I'm not 100% sure. Okay, so this is what it looks like just to show you guys. So it's just a small, and you can see it on this side. There's nothing here, so there's nothing protecting this, and this is all it is. This right there. So I'm not sure, and so basically. This, uh, actually that's supposed to connect in there, I think. But basically, this is taped right here, and then this just clips in. It's pretty easy, but I think I need to stick that in. So just make sure you clean this really well, and it's just gonna help protect any rocks going up. That's all it's gonna do. So let's knock out this front. I'll show you guys what to do. So let me grab this. So the front one, you don't need any glue, and you literally just clip it in. It's kind of weird, but uh, so you take it and you line it up with this inside of the fender right here, and it should just clip right in. So the front you can barely see, but it gives you just enough to kind of protect. So. This one looks really good. Um, this one in the back, and you can paint these. I've seen a lot of people paint them red and stuff. These are black. It's just ABS plastic. I'm not gonna paint them. Wouldn't make much sense, but it doesn't change the look really. It's just gonna protect this fender. So let's knock out the other side. So we've got that side. We've got this front one on, which that one you can barely see. And uh, we need to put this one on. Oh no, this one is on. So this one's good to go. And then we just need to put this rear one on and we'll be done. Okay, so we got these all on. So pretty easy to do. And uh, it just is gonna protect, it's gonna protect those fenders just a little better than uh, it would without them. So pretty easy to install. And it doesn't really change the look of the car too much, which is what I like. But um, the front ones look like they should have definitely come on there. The rear ones stick out a little bit more but i'm okay with it it doesn't actually look too bad so plus also if somebody tries to hit your fender it will kind of protect a little bit so um i got these from the jeep guy again they were 125 bucks shipped i believe they're an oem part pretty sure because they come on the ones in australia so sh these ones should be an oem part if not they pretty easy the fronts just clip in the back ones clean off the inside of the rear fender clip it in take out the tape stick it on there I'm gonna leave it in the sun just so it can kind of uh, get all sticky and leave it in the sun for like 20 minutes and then it should be good to go. And again, this won't mess up when I'm airing out on bags because um, 
has these are right on the inside of the fender so should be good to go if you have a trackhawk srt even a grand cherokee any of them uh, these should work for all of them you should get these for sure if you want to protect your paint especially if you have black or something like that because from racing and stuff those rear fenders can get messed up so anyways hope you guys enjoyed today's video i think it looks good um a normal person wouldn't even know any different if you want a track hawk or a jeep you'd be like what is that so they look pretty good it's gonna just protect the fenders a little bit which you know you want to save your paint as best as you can and this is just a real cheap easy way to do it i have them on my hellcat as you guys can see these are the jlt ones have them on my demon uh obviously we don't need them on the truck because that's line x but it's just a real easy simple fix for anybody who is looking to protect their fenders a little bit if you have srt track hawk whatever hit up the jeep guy on instagram he'll hook you up or look on ebay either one and again make sure you guys follow me at kelly boy kev on instagram and on snapchat my name is kevin van Voris. we installed some fender flares on the track hawk and we're out this bitch